Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple code system so that if you type in a code, you can redeem it. And if you type in another code, you can also redeem it, of course. And uh, if you leave the game and rejoin, you shouldn't be able to redeem the same code twice. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the Thunder tier. Okay, so to start off with, what we need is the code's frame. So I made a, a little model, it's not going to look very good because I'm not a UI designer, but the link will be in the description. Uh, just click on the link, press get, and then go to the toolbox here in Studio and press my models here and click on codes frame and it should insert this to the workspace now just go and drag it onto start gy and uh, yeah what i'm going to do now is script it so we'll go to starter player script so i'm going to add a local script i'm going to rename it to codes and what i'm going to do is get players that going that is going to be players going get service players and local player equals players dot local player and then local player gy equals player colon wait for child colon wait for child player gy and uh, so player gy is pretty much starter gy because if you go to uh, if you play the game go to players and uh, players prog you should have uh, player gy and it's going to have the codes frame and we can now access all of these so what I'm going to do now is local frame equals player gy colon wait for child codes uh sorry this should be codes screen gy we need to get the screen gy first then local frame equals codes ss colon wait for child frame local uh, text box text box equals uh frame colon wait for child text box and uh, what we need is the redeem button so local redeem button equals frame colon with a child redeem okay now what we need to do is redeem button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and we're just going to click to print uh, text box dot text if you play this now and open up the output if you type in something here if you type in nothing and just press redeem it's going to return nothing and uh, if you just type in, uh, for example, uh, uh, code, it should print code. Okay. So now we have access to what the player is typing. By the way, this is a text box. Um, what we can do now is do something with this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a folder to replicate a storage. I'm going to call it remotes. And I'm going to add a remote event uh, or a remote function. Or maybe just a okay, remote function and we'll just call it uh, redeem code now I'm going to add in a module script to service script service and I'm going to call it codes config code codes config and I'll just uh, do local okay so let's just put that back and I'll just type in module dot codes equals and we have an empty table and we're going to have the first code and it's going to be, uh, let's make it um, code one and it will be a function. So what this function is going to do is, uh, so this is the part where you can make your code do whatever you want. It depends on your game. If you want it to, if you want to make it so that it gives you a pet, you can do it here. It depends on how your pet system works. Uh, but for me, for simplicity's sake, what I want to do is make it give you money. So I'm going to add a script and I'm going to call it leader sites. And I'm going to do game.players.player added colon connect function. That's going to take the player and local leader stats equals uh, player equals instance dot new folder and uh, leader stats dot name equals leader stats. And leader stats dot parent equals player. Now we need to create a uh, coins value. So local coins equals instance dot new int value int value and coins dot name equals coins. 
and coins dot value equals zero coins dot parent equals dealer stats okay so if you play the game now you should have uh coins here okay that, that's good now what we want to do is go here to the codes uh local script and we're going to do local result equals uh, and we're going to get replicated storage so local replicated storage equals game from get service replicated storage uh, local remotes equals replicated storage replicated storage one way for child remotes and in here we're going to do remotes uh, dot redeem code con invoke server and we'll send the uh, text box dot text and then here we're going to type in if text box dot text is not equal to this then We're going to do that. Else, print, no code. Let's make sure that this works. So, it should print no code. Good. Okay. Now, what we want to do is go back to this codes config. So, this is going to take the player. And what I'm going to do is uh, player.coins.value equals player.coins.value plus 100. Okay, uh, now I'm going to create another code, and I'm going to call this code uh, 2, and I'm just going to make it give you 500 coins. So now we have two codes, and what I'm going to do is um, add a script, and I'm going to call it codes server, and what I'm going to do is get the uh, get replicated storage, replicated storage, equals game colon get service replicated storage and uh, local remotes equals replicated storage dot remotes and uh, remotes dot uh, redeem code dot on server invoke equals function and that's going to take the player and the code now what we're going to do is require the codes config so local codes config equals require um, Let's get server script service, local server script service equals game, call get service, server script service. And what I'm going to do here is require server script service dot codes config. Okay, so now uh, what we need to do is uh, check if, there is, if the code is existent. So if, um, so we're going to check if uh, codes config code then so if the code is there else we're gonna just print in valid code and if the code is there then local uh, function let's just call it func because we can't really type in function or else it's going to turn red and it's not going to work so local func equals uh, and we're going to do codes config square brackets uh, code and then we're going to do codes config or func. We're just going to call the function. And it's going to take the player. Okay, now we're going to play the game. And see if this works. So I'm going to try to type in nonsense, like E. And it should print invalid code. And now we're going to print, uh, let's uh, try code 1. And we have a problem. Okay, so I think I know why this is happening. I'm just going to type in codesconfig.codes because as you can see, we have it stored here in module.codes. And we're just going to get the code and we're going to check if it's not equal to nil. Then in here, we're going to do codesconfig.codes. And if you play the game now, this should work. So codes, and uh, I'll just redeem it, invalid code. If I just type in code one, then we have another problem. This one is really easy to fix. It should be player.leaderstats.coins.value. And I'm just going to do the same thing here. Same thing here. And same thing here. Now I think it should work. So code one. 
redeem and it works but nothing is stopping us from redeem redeeming this 100 times and let's just check that code 2 is working uh, sorry it was code 2 not code 2 not codes 2 and it works okay so now we need to check if the player hasn't already redeemed the code so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to get the players so local players equals game from get service players and local data store service equals game from get service data store service now local uh, codes data store equals data store service from get data store and codes data store maybe just key i'm just going to type in key one now in here you can just type in your key if it's uh, if you change it your data will reset so uh, make sure to not change it and what I'm going to do is uh, players dot player added from connect function player and players dot player removing dot player removing sorry from connect function player again and what I'm going to do is uh, data store service so for I'm going to do local redeemed codes equals an empty table and uh, before we do this i think it would make more sense to do this first so local redeemed codes equals instance dot new equals instance dot new folder redeemed codes dot name equals redeemed codes and redeemed codes dot parent equals player and in here what we're gonna do is um, table.insert or actually local code val value equals instance.new string value and uh, code value dot name equals uh, equals uh, two string code actually just code because it's already a string equals code and code value dot parent equals uh, player dot redeemed dot redeemed codes okay now uh, I think that's all we need to do in here. If you play the game now, we should uh, have a redeemed codes folder. And when we type in a code, it creates a uh, value inside of the redeemed codes. Now we need to save those values. So what I'm going to do is in here, I'm going to loop through. So for underscore comma V in player dot redeemed codes on get children children do and uh, table dot insert player uh, i mean uh, redeemed codes comma v dot name okay uh the next thing we need to do is to save the redeemed codes table so what i'm going to do is uh data store p call function p call function and uh data stores data store codes data store on set async and uh, we're just going to type in player player dot user id dot dot and we're just going to type in uh, codes uh, comma and now we need to give it what we want to save so we want to save the redeemed codes table okay so in here we're going to do local data equals nil and uh, p call function and what I'm going to do is to just type in um, data equals and uh, data store codes data store on get async and uh, we're gonna do player dot user id dot dot and exactly exactly the key that we typed here so player dot user id dot dot codes and now we don't need to type in redeemed codes because uh, we're not saving anything here. And make sure that you type in get async in player added and set async in player removing. And in here, we're going to check if data is not equal to nil. Then what we're going to do is uh, for i comma v in data do and uh, table dot insert. I'm sorry. Uh, scroll down here and just uh, copy that and paste it here code value dot name equals v and uh, 
code value dot parent equals and in here we're just going to type in redeemed codes okay now if you play the game it's not going to work sorry it's not going to work because uh, you need to go to game settings i'm not recording my whole screen so it's not going to show up so i'm just record the entire screen okay so what we need to do is click on game settings and save to roblox and i'll just call it codes tutorial and save and we're gonna have to wait for it to reload shouldn't take too long Let's just wait. Okay, finally. Now what we need to do is go to game settings and go to security and enable studio access to API services. Now we're going to save that. And what I'm going to do now is um, in here, I'm going to uh, create a function up here, local function, save data. And uh, we're just going to... Uh, it's going to take the player and we're just going to copy this entire thing here and we're going to click in, type in save data player and just uh, paste that in here now if you go down here what we need to do is uh, game column bind to close function and for i for underscore comma v in uh, players colon gets players do and um, save data and it's just going to take v which is the player okay so uh now i need to explain what this does so um bind to close pretty much uh fires when uh when the game is when the server is about to shut down and when the server shuts down the player doesn't exactly leave the game I mean, it does, but sometimes it might not save the data. So what we're doing is just to make sure we are looping through every single player that is still in the game when the server is closing. And uh, we're calling the save data function uh, that is in here. And yeah, that's pretty much all we're doing. Let's see if that works. I'm just going to type in code one. And it is in redeemed codes. And if I just leave the game now, and play it again and i go here as you can see code one is still there and if i leave again and uh, join code one is still there but this is not stopping us from not redeeming the same code twice so what we need to do is uh, prevent that so i'm going to go to here in the redeem code uh, function and what I'm going to do is in here I'll just check if not if player dot uh, redeemed codes call find first child code then we're just going to return uh, code already redeemed and in here, we're just going to return invalid code. Okay, so I think, uh, and here we're just going to return redeemed code successfully. Okay, so I was still recording my whole screen. Uh, so I made it so that I can only record the Roblox Studio tab. And okay, so now what I want to do is in the code's uh, local script, I just want to print the result. Okay, now if you play the game, this should work fine. If I type in code 1, it shouldn't let me redeem it. As you can see, it says code already redeemed. If I type in code 2, uh, redeemed code successfully. If I just type in uh, a random thing, it says invalid code. Okay, so this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!